Okay, so under the tree here. It's not as big as the one I had, but it had to do. Um, we mark, when are we going over there? What time is it? I want to be up there around quarter two. It's 20 to, 20 to 11. Yeah, we got to get up there in a minute. Just okay. going to be fast, Charles? Yeah, I'll be right fast. Okay, somebody from Mermog Cook talked to me on Facebook yesterday. And uh, what we want to talk about is he worked for the Department of Transportation. And he has to travel all the way to Capelli now. Right. So do you know what's, what's that all about? Yeah, that's with the uh, closing of certain government garages in the province. Was that done sneaky, sneaky-wise? Uh, well, I, I seems to me there was a promise that none of the government garage would close. Uh, when they came to power, the Albert government, uh, because the Sean Graham uh, Liberals, if my memory serves me right, were going to close them. Uh, they said they wouldn't, uh, and they didn't once they were elected, but now, uh, two and a half years into their mandate, uh, they've done this. So they had this, it was a long ride from Mermont Cook to Capelet. Absolutely, yeah. So, and it, it's not just Mermont Cook, this is happening all yeah, the time. Yeah, I know, but uh, but this, this uh, they don't, they, they used to, I think they used, they allowed them to use government truck to travel there. But then they stopped it last week. They got to use their own time, their own gas. I know it's their own time, their own gas. As far as the practice of stopping government trucks, actually Joey Kelly, the treasurer of 1190 is here. Yeah. He could, he'd be right up on that file. So is this sneaky cut, so uh, is it all, uh, Sean Graham started this and then? Well, he, he was going to do it. It was uh, it was a big issue during the election, especially up in, uh, I remember going to a rally in the, uh, in the front of the government garage in track of Okay. And, uh, the focus of the, uh, the the rally or the event that was just at the closure, or proposed closure of the government garages, and there were a number of conservative candidates who were there, and if elected, we won't vote. Them. Uh, so, like I said, it wasn't they weren't closed immediately, but now we see it uh, manifesting itself today. You, you, yeah, you see uh, this uh, Department of Transportation. You see it go non-union soon, or? But is this union busting or? Well, there's a number of things that uh, are causing us great, great concern. Uh, this efficiency study they're doing, paying millions of dollars for a, a consultant uh, a company outside of New Brunswick, literally millions, six, seven, eight. From Quebec, dollars. right? From Quebec. Uh, to Moody Quebecois. Uh, okay, go ahead. Anyway, they're following our, our workers around, our members, and uh, you know, uh, asking them to go and uh, look at potholes, not fill the potholes, look at our potholes. Well, that's not very effective, you know, very efficient. So. Uh, you know, we've got concerns of some of the things that are going on in that department, for sure, from uh, our members' perspective. Okay, thank you.